We're off to the expedition. It's a royal progress. It is no coincidence that the trail of roses left in Her Majesty's wake has ended in this pretty continental town. But what could have caused her to cross a narrow sea, poppy-flecked fields, and mythical river valleys? She has not simply waltzed over for the ambiance. This is the heartland of her maternal family line, and she is here with a purpose. All right, so what are her options? She's a queen. There must be a sign of her somewhere. Hunting is 80. Or ask a respectable-looking local if they've seen a fugitive queen. Uh, well, we'll get a little bit better percentage on this, so let's go hunting. A nearby castle or country residence, of course. Eliminate all other factors, and in that what remains is the truth, as the sleuths say. The queen would never be content to say it in town, calculating you are no more than two days behind the queen's re uh, retinue. You're able to draw a circle on a map that encompasses only a handful of suitably regal stopovers. It is now but a question of exactly which of her landed relatives she came to he came here to visit. All right. Use your knowledge of the royal family to make a, a guess. 70 diplomacy or use deduction to discern which royal the queen is visiting. Hunting 80. Um, I mean, it makes no... I mean... We'll go with the most logical one. We have the best chance, right? You sneak upon proof. It is her cousin Ernest she is visiting. While the prince's welcome is polite, his stiffness of manner alerts your subs uh, suspicions. When, after tea, he gives you the freedom of the ivy-clad castle, you waste no time seeking signs she was there. You find paper on the desk in a guest bedroom impressed with quill marks and, mar uh, and make a rubbing. A letter from the queen to her handmaid. It largely concerns itself with Ernest's handsome looks. Oh, my. When you raise the subject with Ern Prince Ernest, he becomes rather twitchy. So, Diplomacy 70. Tell him that your only wish is to help the queen. Very well, agrees the prince. Once your persuasive speech has come to an end, my dear... Uh, sorry, my dear cousin asked me to help trace our shared lineage and to establish the validity of certain claims she believes she has through ancient lies, ancient ties to La Corona. He removes a map of the continent from his neatly arranged bureau. Your diplomatic immunity may prove important in the days ahead. What she plans may put her at risk, he sighs. There is to be a masked ball of Monagascu? In Monegascu. A, a masked ball in Monegascu. You will find her there. We know not the masquerade at Monegascu. Following Prince Ernest's advice, you travel by train along the sparkling Côte Turquoise to a grand station in the sophisticated principality of Monegascu. Ruled for six centuries by the Piedmont family, Today, the streets of Madagascu are filled with color and light, for it is the grand opening of its very first casino. The theme is animal masquerade, and you see disturbing furred and featured uh, and feathered costumes at every turn. Convenient for a queen going incognito. Prince Ernest have you his, uh, gave you his own invitation to the casino, but you also need a costume. Oh, baby. So, splash out... <laughs> on a fancy costume, offer a bribe. Okay, we don't really have anything for that. Crafting, nothing. Diplomacy. Shamelessly walk in without a costume. Well. Okay. Looks like we're going to be relying heavily on diplomacy for this one. A few heads turn, but the doormen don't stop you. I'm a special guest of the Piedmont family, you say with a winning smile as you brandish the invitation Prince Ernest gave you. Expected to donate great sums to the cause, so you'll forgive my choice of attire. One of the doormen hands you a blank, a black eye mask, without uh, which you put on. Reserved, no doubt, for exceptional circumstances such as this. Once inside the casino, you debate your best bet for finding the queen. Try to mingle with high society. Let's go. 
Your knowledge of royalty does not desert you. In a circle of the most elegantly dressed people, you spy a beautiful sequined elephant in whose hand is a foul mixture of claret and malt whiskey, the queen's favorite. Your eyes meet and hers widen. She drops her glass and there are gasps, gasps as she rushes for the exit. By the time you've forced your way outside, her carriage has set off at speed. You wave another cab down and get in. The Cape of Trelawney. The queen fled the casino at high speed, and your own carriage is some distance behind. Your driver thinks she's headed up the coast, perhaps to a ship. You can either keep up your pursuit, or else rush to your own ship. Which, if the others you, uh, with the orders you have given to the captain have been followed, should be waiting in the Monegasque Marina. And it looks like we're just make a choice here. So continue pursuit or get to your ship. Uh, I think I'm going to count on the orders having been given, and I'm going to get to my own ship. We have good navigation, so we should be able to get after him. Uh, okay, the Cape of Trelawney continues. Your ship is indeed waiting in the marina. Quickly, you rouse the captain and his crew and weigh anchor. Before long, twinkling Montegascu is behind you, and from the next bay, you spot an impressive ship in the distance. How is she able to leave port so fast? You either can continue to chase Her Majesty or send her a message of peace with your signal lamp. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my best chances here and go navigation, which is the reason why I went to my own ship in the first place. Your helmsman ship is most impressive. The queen calls over to you as you bring your ship up alongside hers. Meet me at the Cape of Trelawney, she says. You point your ship towards Trelawney. Uh, sorry, you said that. Sorry. Haha. The southernmost point of the old world where not 15 years previous a great naval air victory was won over La Corona by the heroic Admiral Nadaski. The lap of victory is there waiting for you and the queen receives you warmly aboard. You are finally able to ask why it is that she has run away. Ah, here we go. I had a feeling the Cape of Trelawney was our destination. Satisfaction, but to address it, our nation has lost its pride. But pride can be restored. This place, Trelawney, is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rivals, Lacarone. We were the victors here at Trelawney. But all the spoils remain in the lap of the sea. The scepter of the pond has long granted its bearers indisputable authority, but it sank to the depths, along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell Father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest legacy. Finding the sunken scepter of hope, the trophy we never claimed for that victory, will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. We shall build a new capital of the realm here. Perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts you see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. Help me build it, and find the scepter. And I shall designate you Warden of Trelawney, my official representative in these waters. And so it is that we are tasked with building a new capital of the realm and securing a long-lost scepter for the queen. This is Cape Trelawney, and it is time to find out what exactly these fabled lands have in store for us. So everyone is aware, this is a blind playthrough of Sunken Treasures DLC, and that I do not know what is coming next. So please, come along and join me as we explore these waters and search for Sunken Treasures. And for what it looks like, Sunken Treasures are all around. In fact, you cannot go very far at all in these waters without finding another rock and a ship that is sunken to its demise and potentially left treasures behind. So that will be our task as we move forward. But for now, we have much, much too much to worry about. We have got a mission. So what that mission is exactly. First, we must sail to the HMS Lap of Victory and receive a gift from the Queen. And then we must build a trading post. And what we've done is I've brought along three battle cruisers. 
we've got one filled with some supplies that'll help us get started and build our uh, our trading post. We've got one that is filled with all kinds of very valuable people, including a lot of salvagers. So hopefully these guys will help us with some missions in the future. And we have ourselves an empty ship in case we needed to pick some stuff up along the way. And potentially we've got a little bit of muscle. Uh, if there's any problems, we'll be able to handle them. So let's not waste any time. Let's head on over and talk to the queen about our stuff. And then he, and also I wanted to mention, uh, many of you may be wondering, hey, you've got 91 million bucks here and you've got some nice income going and lots of people. What exactly have you been doing so far on this playthrough? Well, if you'd like to catch up, let me show you. We'll take a quick look at the old world here and you'll see what it is we've been up to. So this was actually after completing the original campaign. This was my very first playthrough. We'd done it in complete sandbox mode. And this is the first island we started on and it's turned out pretty nice, I think so. If I do say so myself. And this led to our ultimate goal, which was creating another YouTube series that you may not be aware of here on the, uh, on the channel. And that is Import Island. And you can see we are a number of episodes into Import Island. And we've done a lot of work. There's lots more of work to do still, but it's looking pretty good. And it's going according to plan so far. And you'll be able to catch up with that. There'll be a link in the description below, and you can also follow the link at the end of the video. We are going to be doing all of the tourist stuff on this island. We're going to have the World's Fair and the museum and the botanical gardens and, of course, a nice big zoo as well. There'll be all kinds of beautiful stuff on this island. It's going to turn out super good. So if you haven't done so already, please catch up on that series, our Import Island series for Anno 1800. But let's get back to the task at hand, which is in Cape Trelawney. And here we have our ships approaching the docks, or what will be our docks, I guess, if you, if you want to put it that way. So let's just speed up just a little bit and come in here and see what the queen has for us. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. The queen offers you the materials to set up an outpost. Oh, well, we didn't even need to bring them, I guess. It would, it would be prudent to accept. Sure. Give me your resources. There you go. And actually, it looks like they gave us the same stuff that we brought along. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much, milady. So, time to build a trading post. So, is there a place that they insist we build? I'm not seeing... Let's see. Let me just move over here a bit. Let's get this guy out of the way. Uh, where do we want to build this? I think maybe in here. If we have the option. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, I think potentially in here. Because this looks like the bigger area. This section over here is kind of stifled by rivers up through here. Which is good. We can probably make some really nice... Um, really nice things up through here, but I think ultimately we probably want our original dock to be somewhere in here. And what I'm actually going to do is maybe move this along and build that trading post right in that little spot right maybe there? No, back this way. I'm being super picky. I'm sorry. We're going to build it. And we're going to build it nice. There we go. That's good. Build the trading post. It is done. Now we must reach city status village and have 100 farmers. So it looks like this is for the, for the beginning at least, it's going to be a relatively straightforward uh, playthrough. So we've got that going for us. And is this guy emptied out? Yeah, we can bring this guy over and have him ready to do so as well. And oh, I was going to read what the queen had to say there. I didn't know it was going to go away. Um, okay, that sucks. Wow, attractiveness through the roof. An appealing settlement. We haven't done a thing. All right, so let's just get started then, I guess. So let's build ourselves a road. And let's head inland like this. And like that. Oops, this, oh, 
So all right, this guy should be able to, well, maybe he can't drop off everything, but we'll drop off what we can. The queen wants to commission a treasure hunter. I saw it from the deck, an impish little man dredging up bits and pieces. He may be exactly what we require. Okay. Uh, sail to Old Nate's Lighthouse. All right, so let's have this guy go to Old Nate's Lighthouse, which I think is here. Yes, Old Nate. Is this his... Yeah? Yeah, this is it. Perfect. You head over there, and we'll continue to get to work on this stuff. And we'll just do it pretty straightforward. I'm not going to get too picky about what we're doing here. Let's just go ahead and grab a market and set that down in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. And we'll just build up some roads. We have some bricks so we can make some nicer roads in this, in the area. And let's go like this. How wide is this? Six, I think. Three and three, yep, perfect. And we'll go like that. And we can do, we've got a pub in here like this. And we'll throw down a fire station as well. And then we'll just start to blanket this place in residence. So keep it super simple. We're not going to do anything fancy at the moment. We just need to get things done. Let's go like that. And we're running out of wood. And actually what I need to do, in fact, you know what? I, uh, it's been a while since I started a settlement. Let's go ahead and get some of that wood back because we actually need to be smart about this. What we need to do is find a place. Um, it'll be temporary, I think. And let's go like this. Oh, Nate's here to talk to us about things and stuff. Old Nate, welcome to Trelawney Graveyard to something something. I missed it. Old Nate offers you a diving bell for a price. Which, uh, which your queenie wants is a diving bell. I could uh, lease you. Let's go over here for a second. Lease you my prototype. All right. Old Nate wants to make sure that everything is settled before you uh, before your first dive. Being a prototype, I will ask you sign a waiver for your life before you use it. Old Nate offers you a diving bell quest. If you don't exploit this, some other bird will. Thirty-eight thousand. All right. Old Nate is glad you accepted. Look at you go. Reach the diving spot using an echo locator. Whoops. Get off of that, sorry. Using an echo locator. Hmm. Fear, what is, uh, why are you going over there? I asked you to come over here. What are you doing? Oh, what's this? Oh, salvage the diving bell. Let's do that first. Is this... This is ours as well. And then... Dive at the specific location. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes that easy. Alright, so... I'm assuming that this is what we needed. Is this guy here to do it? Yeah, okay, here we go. Dive in progress. Oh, look at this go. Scrap. All right. DLC into the depths. Achievement unlocked. All right. So deliver the old... Uh, okay. So we must come back here and deliver. Old Nate advises you not to get rid of the scrap and takes it... Uh, take it to him instead. Don't... Uh, do you think... Got this far by throwing away stuff? I don't think so. 
Alright. Go to the scrap. Old Nate asks if you're ready to hand in your quest. Absolutely. Hand it in. Old Nate advises you to take all the scrap you find to him. Not half bad, eh? I could turn around your junk so long as I get to keep the old smidge of gimcracky. Whatever that is. <laughs> Alright, reach the diving spot using an echo locator. Again. Uh, tired of something back with the like scrap. I can point you to the good stuff for a reasonable fee. Watch out for them octopuses. They like to keep all the good stuff under wraps. <laughs> all right. Dive at old Nate's coordinates. Uh-oh. Are these bad men? Yes, they are. There are a lot of bad men. All right. At least we don't have that. Uh, that at least that part isn't a... Uh, holy cow. We're going to need to put together a military, to say the least. So, how many ships they got there? Nothing too big. So, we, I mean, we don't want to take on all that, but probably two or three more, we probably could take care of them pretty good. That's the target place there. So, what we're going to do is, we have this, reach the drive diving spot using an echo locator. Is that the same spot? Just a second. They can't. They can't be expecting me to go to that same spot in twenty six minutes. I'm going to be crushed, won't I? It's weird because they're not actually giving me. Hmm. Sunken treasures. I'm pretty sure I can't win that battle. Maybe we try it? I don't know. We don't have... may not have much choice. Alright. Uh, old Nate. The Nipper 4. Just standing there. I don't know. I mean, our, our three ships are definitely more powerful than theirs, but... I definitely do not want to take a chance of losing a lot of these people here. Um, force, naval power, naval power, naval power. So I'm going to drop off a number of these guys here. So all of these guys get out. That guy gets out. Those guys all look pretty good. I really don't know. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. So you're gonna to wanna to stay behind a little bit. I just don't know if I like my chances of beating all of these guys. You know what I could do? Mm, 23 minutes. I don't have any other big ships back at my other location, but I could potentially, for instance, these guys here, I could send these guys to Cape Trelawney. Um, oh, what am I doing? I thought I'd wait. Here. Oh, there. Sorry. Yeah. I did that wrong. Cape Trelawney. Okay. You guys are off. Maybe they get here in time, but they, they could potentially act as cannon fodder, maybe? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So let's send these guys down here. And... Hmm... If maybe we could get in and attack them, if we could ever get to here. We're coming from there. If we could ever attack them a, a few at a time, I think what I want to do 
is aim for here. And then potentially come in the back and then maybe we could start hitting these guys. And then if we could ever get our other guys from the other island, uh, they should come in right around here. Uh, or sorry, from the other world, from the old world. And then they could come in and maybe do some distracting in here. What do we have left in time here? Um, mission quest book. 22 minutes. Okay. So we're not going to want to take 22 minutes. Let's speed things up here and see how we're doing. And we're also going to want to send, I suppose. We don't have that. We can't use those guys, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to want to send this guy in kind of near-ish because we only have a short amount of time. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure I'm even doing this right. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that those are the same thing. Like, it's not it's not giving me, like this here, it's not giving me a location other than this mission here. So I'm assuming this is part of the same thing and we need to get over here. I honestly don't think we're going to be able to do this in time. I don't know. But we'll we'll try. We'll see what happens. Let's come over here. And you come to there. Too bad that these big boats weren't as fast as that little uh, salvager. Holy cow, that thing can fly! Alright, so let's turn the speed down as we get in here. Ship has entered the region. Oh, baby. Uh, you guys, come on over here. I didn't realize you were going to do that. So let's turn the speed down a little bit. What's our time left? That's some time left. Let's see what happens here, shall we? I mean, worst case scenario, we build more boats, am I right? All right, so let's come in this way. And like I said, these guys are going to come to here. And the hope would be that these guys become cannon fodder. So maybe come along here. I'm not 100% sure these guys are bad or not. They're red, so it makes me feel like they're bad, but how come we're not currently shooting at them? I mean... Is there a chance that this guy gets in here and just... I mean, I can't imagine that's going to be it, right? The queen uh, that you were the first to buy Old Nate's information. I see we are not the first to pay Old Nate for the coordinates. I only hope we are the first to find what's down there. Oh, here we go. Okay. So it doesn't look like uh, combating is going to be a problem. Or maybe it will. I am Vasco Oliveira. I conduct the solemn and discreet business of none other than King Zhao of Ekoro. That's La Corona to the plebs. <laughs> we have come only to pay our respects beside the grave of a once great empire. Okay, so maybe we're not going to get into a fight after all. It's kind of I was kind of itching for one, to be honest with you. It looks like they are going to take off. It's obvious why they're here. It's the same reason we are here. For the, um, uh, for the emblematic power and scepter will grant to whoever it is. So I'm afraid you'll have to rely on wits to beat this Oliviera to it. Hmm. Interesting. Old Nate wishes you luck. Watch out for them octopuses. They like to keep all the good stuff in themselves. You keep saying that same thing. All right. So we have access to the site, it appears. No problem. So let's head on over here and see what's next. By the way, I think that might actually be time for the end of episode one. So when we return, we will see what this site has in store for us. I am really intrigued now. I'm excited. 
I, I, was, I didn't know what was going to happen, so I thought, well, let's get ready for a fight. And then it turns out there was no fight. And so now we're left just uh, waiting to see what happens next. So thank you for joining me, folks. I do appreciate it. It's been fun. Sucker Treasures has begun. This is episode one. And we will see you in a couple days for episode two. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.